Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Market Update. I am your host, Larry McCain with American Financial Network. Thank you again for tuning in. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. It is truly a joy of mine to uh, come before you to bring relevant information each and every time I have an opportunity to share with you. I receive lots of communication, text messages, emails, calls. Folks stop me at the gym, wherever I'm at, because they know I'm involved in the lending real estate world. And so I, I take it as a pleasure to just communicate all the information that I have gathered personally and also from other sources. Uh, I'm a nerd for this stuff, so I love it. So thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you all are having a great start to this beautiful weekend. A couple of things, of course, we have this weekend. Daylight saving ends, of course, on Sunday. And so that's a wonderful thing because, of course, we get to fall back on those clocks, get an extra hour of sleep, yay. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. So make sure you set your clocks accordingly. Enjoy that extra hour. Get some extra things done. Um, one of the things I've learned in my life when it comes to time change, I used to travel to Asia a lot, um, you know, in my 20s when I was a product manager in technology. And they taught me then as soon as you get, it was like a 14-hour flight. And as soon as you get there, you know, keep your regular schedule as best as possible if it's evening, you know, go to bed at your regular time. Um, if it's morning, work as long as you can. And so to help with that, to regulate, of course, the melatonin, to regulate, you know, everything in the body, uh, exercise. Uh, that is very, very important. So Sunday, if it's not raining out there, be a great opportunity for you to get out there and enjoy uh, the elements, enjoy the beautiful weather, or go to the gym, or go to the mall, get a walk in. That will help you, of course, get your body moving so that way you don't wake up on Monday super sluggish. You know, it's uh, those little tricks that help. Uh, speaking of the rain, of course, we have rain in the forecast this week, uh, this weekend, I should say, and a little bit next week. It's nice to start walking into, you know, some normalcy. Uh, we've lived in the twilight zone. Oh, gosh. <laughs> for, for the past, what, I don't know how many years, five, six years, something like that. Just bizarre things that are happening. Uh, and, you know, we're not getting enough rain. and uh, just all the preservations, and it's so nice to have some normalcy. We had Halloween recently, um, just so many trick-or-treaters come through. We missed that last year, naturally. Some kids are getting back into a normal schedule. We have uh, uh, a graduating senior who's highly involved in music, and we love to attend those music recitals, and of course, weren't able to attend them last year because they weren't put on by any school. And of course, this year, they're doing it on a limited basis, so that's nice. And then seeing the rain just come through here and there, and it's been amazing. Um, I'm just so grateful personally because I know that means um, good precipitation for you and for me to help us uh, during this time. So continue to pray for more rain here in California, uh, particularly Northern California where the mountains can use them. The snow caps uh, will definitely absorb them. So continue to pray for that. Let's hope we have a great rainy season because that means that uh, this summer, will be a good summer. And if we have to deal with fires, we'll have a lot of moisture into the land, which will help with all that dryness that we have. So anyway, good stuff. So great. Um, there was a good amount of information, I should say. I, I got a lot of stuff I want to say at one, one time. So <laughs> that's what's happening here. But there's a lot of information that came through with the news this week. And uh, I definitely want to touch on it. And so, of course, let me start first by the elephant in the room. That actually was something I mentioned in the previous uh, video. And that is Zillow, of course, getting out of the house buying market. Yes, Zillow getting out of iBuyer and the house buying market. Let me tell you, folks, uh, I mentioned in earlier videos about these online aggregators, you know, uh, the Zillows and, and all these other large companies, previously Purple Bricks, you know, buying inventory, getting into the business of flipping homes, being a broker, if you will, you know. It sounds good on the surface, and naturally, you don't want to rain on innovation. You know, there's going to be efficiencies, of course, with technology, but folks, we're human beings, human beings. We like human touch. We like human feelings. We like to connect. You know, nothing is 100% in this reality, naturally, except for, of course, death and taxes, um, for the most part, uh, unless, you, of course, you're a big company and you've conned folks out of not paying taxes, but... But really, it's, you know, death and taxes is, is, uh, is really what, you know, we all cannot avoid. And so there's never 100%, you know, unanimity on, on a lot of things typically. 
And so in this situation, you know, not everyone is going to want to work with, you know, an agent or, you know, a broker, you know, folks prefer to just click a button and do it that way. And, and that's going to be fine. Um, and that's fine for a small populate, population uh, or populace, if you will. The majority of folks want to look someone in the eye, want to see their smile, want to read their body language, want to see, feel their energy so they can know, is this a person I can trust in one of the largest transactions I may ever have in my lifetime? You know, this is a big, big responsibility. And so chess, the notion that this would just be electronic was, you know, was definitely a um, fallacy for, for those of us, of course, coming from technology. A lot of folks not from technology have a perception, but those of us coming from te technology know full well that human touch is very, very important and uh, is never going away. So, you know, it's a, it's a very unfortunate thing, but it was really very necessary what Zillow did, you know, they contributed to a lot of the overheating that we had here in the summer. We, I remember talking to a seller who was uh, dead set on selling his house, uh, listing it uh, with the team, wife's team, and uh, had a conversation with him because he he got an offer from Zillow. His house, I think, was worth seven hundred thousand, and uh, based upon the comps and whatnot, Zillow offered my eight hundred thousand uh, dollars on the house, hundred thousand over just outrageous uh, price. And they did that to other listings. And I was seeing that with other realtors as well, reading their stories. And uh, naturally in the communities, we were discussing this. And in the press, of course, they were saying that's not the case. We're buying at a market value. It's not happening. But those of us on the ground knew differently. And then of course, the news settlement actually came in two steps. The one step was a pause. And then of course, we knew that the second step would come. And the second step came in came this past uh, Monday that they were totally out of the business. They're going to have to commit to over $540 million in writing down the inventory they have. 7,000 homes uh, worth about $2.8 billion. Now, listen, folks, they are not going to put all this on the market right away. I know I can hear it. I can hear people thinking, oh, man, it's going to be a crash. We're going to be able to buy things, pennies on dollars. We're going we're gonna to take, we're going to participate this time. We missed it. We missed it last time. We're going to participate. Well, I hate to say this. Um, the chances of Zillow putting all the inventory on the market at one time is really slim. Keep in mind, they're still beholden to shareholders. The minute they announced this situation, their, the market share went down, I want to say, what, 20 some odd percent immediately, if not more. It was not good. And if they decided to put inventory, that amount of inventory in the market at one time or in huge chunks... Uh, investors will not be happy because they will be flooding the market. So that's why they're looking for an investor, something like a BlackRock who bought scores of homes during the Great Recession so that what they would do is normally hold the inventory and, and find ways to get inventory in the market in a normal process. And so the great news about this for buyers is that, number one, we're not going to have to deal with all this crazy multiple offer situation where it's in through the stratosphere. Now, we will still have to deal with multiple offers, especially if it's a good property, because we still have a lot, a huge appetite for buyers out there. But, you know, here in the Sacramento County, El Dorado County, Placer County area, you know, the notion of a, a, a regular average single family home having to bid 50, 60, 70, 80,000 over to get that home, you know, those days are going to be more so behind us than in front of us. Because again, more folks are looking at getting their homes in the market in general because there, there's more stability. And now we have another source of inventory that has to get on the market as well. So still gonna be a very good market. We're not gonna see prices take off. It's gonna be more streamlined. There, there's been forecasts for quite some time that the double digit increase in equity was coming to an end and we're seeing it. These are the signs. So if you've been following the videos, but many of you have been following my videos, you know this was coming because I mentioned, to, mentioned this to you. To you. So Kudos to you for following and, and staying along. Just keep an eye on the market because if you are in the market to buy a home, this is definitely your time. Traditionally, during the winter is the time to buy because folks are totally just focused on the holidays. And considering that we missed the holiday last year, meaning that we were not able to hang out with family and friends, people are looking to gather. And so I expect this year a lot of gathering, a lot of celebrations. And so... Folks will be focused on that. 
not as much buying homes. So you, there's opportunities out there for you. So if you are looking to buy a home, have questions about getting pre-approved, or want to discuss the market in general, give me a call. My contact information is there. I would love to help you. I always feel that for much is given, much is required. And so literally coming from nowhere, coming from nothing and able to you know, buy my own home and start businesses and help people amass wealth. I want to do that for you too, because if you don't know, there's not going to be folks out there that's just going to, you know, write that it's just going to bring you in and say, Hey, here's what we can do to get you to this hump. I definitely want to find a way to help you so that you can own your very own home. So give me a call. My contact information is there. Love to hear from you. Okay. Number two, number two, another very important item. Uh, the Fed here recently, in fact, I'm pulling it up here, have it here in my notes. The Fed here recently decided they will be easing at some point. Yes, they are tapering down on the bond purchases later this month. Folks, what this means is that the Fed is going to slow down in buying treasuries and buying bonds to help stimulate the economy. Why? Because a couple of reasons. They got to do it because inflation is out of control. <laughs> I've been saying it for weeks, probably for months. You know, it was very necessary for them to make purchases, of course, because that kept, kept borrowing very low. Um, it was able to help businesses, both small, medium, and large, um, to get through that COVID period, get through tough periods by keeping their borrowing costs very, very low. So it was a great strategy to help the economy. It helped everyday Americans. Uh, you and me, we were able to refinance at fantastic rates. You know, some folks got rates under three. Some folks got rates in the low twos. Some folks are very aggressive and got rates in the high ones because there was either 15-year loans or they just wanted to pay their loan, their loan down to get it to that point. And so because of the, the stimulus that the Fed was uh, you know, strategizing or bringing into play, we were all able to benefit. So I helped scores of folks refinance last year and this year as well. Speaking of refinance, listen, the time is running out. It is literally running out. You see the graphics up there. If you haven't refinanced and you're thinking about it, stop thinking and call. Otherwise, by the time you get started, your rates are going to be up, up higher and higher. You're going to miss the boat. You're going to kick yourself. Um, and we see it all the time. I, I just, I wish that I can just take a part out of me and say, hey, guys, see this. But, you know, that's how it is. So, again, my contact information is right there. Give us a call. The Fed is making a move. Go back to some of my other videos that I have on YouTube. You'll see, I, I mentioned this in January, February, that come the end of the year, the Fed likes to make changes during the holidays, particularly during Thanksgiving and Christmas. Again, I mentioned earlier, it's the holidays. Folks have been tied up inside. You know, they haven't been able to get out, you know, and so they want to get out. They want to celebrate. And even more so this year because of what happened in 2020 with COVID. And so keep an eye. I wouldn't be too surprised in addition to the Fed, you know, easing the buying of bonds that they then raise up, you know, uh, the rate to the, to the banks, which then will raise up the rates to everyone else. It, it's just, it would not surprise me if it happened uh, at the end of this year. Inflation is really, I don't want to say it's out of control. It's really, really uh, tough for all Americans right now. Uh, the cost, uh, the price of gas is high, and that's another geopolitical situation, of course, that exacerbates the whole, the whole situation altogether. And so getting rates at a reasonable level, uh, a, a, a true supply and demand level will then help you know, reduce the amount of inflation that we're seeing in the grocery stores, we're seeing in our milk, our bread, you know, all of our produce and things of that nature. Um, we just got to get things back to normal economics so that we could get our economy back um, healthy again, like it used to be. So lots of good stuff happening. I mean, what that means for you again is that, guys, if you're on the fence, get off. Get off the fence or else your costs are going to be higher. Um, no, way, no other way to say it. I've got great agents all around, no matter where you're at. Uh, I have folks watching me all over the country, uh, Canada, uh, all overseas. I don't have partners overseas yet, but with, with, with the EXP uh, network. We have folks everywhere uh, on the globe. So no matter where you are at, if you're looking for uh, assistance with real estate, start by giving me a call, emailing me, texting me. Information's right there. And what I'll do is I'll connect you with a fantastic agent. And uh, if you'd like, we'll walk that with you as well 
to make sure you're getting uh, a you know, great service. And for those of you, again, um, looking to refi or questions about the market or looking to get pre-approved, I'm not only able to help you in California, I can help you in all 50 states. So if you're in Texas, Arizona, Nevada, no matter where you're at in the US, give me a call. We've got the ability to help you there as well. Love to connect with you, bring you some good uh, options for, for your family, for your mortgage, for your needs and help you along the way. All right. Well, thank you again for tuning in to The Market Update. I am your host, Larry McCain with the American Financial Network. Again, it is a joy to come to you each and every week. Um, thank you again for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Enjoy this weekend. Enjoy that extra hour of sleep, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.